So uh, now we're moving on to task two. And I'm actually going to pull that down here, task number two. And for this task, our boss would like us to create a paid invoice table that contains five columns. Invoice ID, invoice date, payment total, credit total, and invoice total. They only want invoices with a current balance of zero added to the table. So to get the current balance, we're going to have to take invoice total minus payment total minus credit total and check to see if it's zero. So this is going to be a little bit longer query. So we're going to do a select and we are selecting invoice ID, invoice date, uh, payment total, credit total, invoice total, all of that into a paid invoice, which is going to be a new table. And these little squiggles are happening because we haven't told it where we're getting the data from. So once we put from invoices, it should be happy and they should go away. And now we have to give it that constraint where we've got the balance is equal to zero. So we have to say where, and then we've got invoice total minus payment total minus credit total equals zero. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and run this. 103 rows were affected. So now I'm going to do a select and take a look at it, and make sure it looks correct. So how do we know that this worked, worked properly? The way we can tell is we can kind of look at payment total and credit total. And if those two columns should add up to the invoice total. So if we kind of scroll down, you can double check. We, we don't all have zeros in our credit total. Yeah, so this is 21,221 and we're adding like 2,295, so about 23,000 is correct. A little easier math on this one. Uh, 1,762, you're adding 200, so we've got 1,962. So that does look correct. So I'm going to go ahead and move my closing comment down. And we are going to be moving on to task three.